I'm Swimming World TV's Andy Ross. We just finished Friday night's finals of the 2019 NCAA Division I Women's Swimming and Diving Championships here in Austin, Texas. Free records went down. A lot of fast swimming. Let's get to the highlights. Stanford senior Ella Easton won the 400 IM to start the night with a 357.03, winning the event for the fourth straight year ahead of Sydney Pickham and Brooke Forty. Easton became the first swimmer ever in Division I to win the 400 IM four straight years. Um, I actually did not know that. Um, definitely something that I'm proud of. Wouldn't be, I guess, something that I thought was going to happen coming into college. Um, I think my freshman win was um, a pretty big surprise for me. And then after that, I um, felt like I wanted to stay consistent in that race and always try to um, put my hand on the wall first for my team. And just so happened I was able to do that one more time. Um, so something that is super exciting. Um, wanted to keep the momentum going. And um, at this point, it's like, it's not about my swimming anymore. It's about like everyone coming together and putting um, some good races together for um, for our team. So, in the hunter butterfly was junior Louise Hansen of Southern Cal going a 49.26 for a new NCAA and U.S. Open record, and Hansen went ahead of Maggie McNeil of Michigan and Cal's Katie McLaughlin. Yeah, as usual, don't remember much from my swims because <laughs> I'm in my little bubble, but uh, it felt really good. I felt really strong. The first 50 was like easy flow, but fast. I felt very controlled swimming. Um, I didn't really time my turns, I was not happy with them, so I was a little like going into last turn, I was like, damn it, didn't make this turn the way I wanted it, but I was able to really push through like underwaters, and I'm really happy with the race in general, there's just small details, <laughs> but I'm happy to be able to swim another best time, especially since I broke the record two weeks ago. <laughs> in the 200 free, it was a great race between the top three, and it was Mallory Comerford, the senior from Louisville, winning her third straight title in this event, going at 140.26. Stanford freshman Taylor Ruck was second, 140.37, and Michigan senior Siobhan Hahi third, 140.70. What was what's going through your mind in the last 25? Uh, definitely just thinking to myself that I can do it. I prepared for this. Uh, I knew going into this one, it was going to be the hardest one, just I think each year it's gotten progressively harder, just um, the competition and um, just learning how to be able to race after you've won. So um, going into it, I was we talked about sticking to my own race plan, and I think I did that a little bit, but we were out really fast. Um, 48, I went, they asked me like what I thought I went out in, and I was like, oh, 49.2, and it's out 48.6. So, um, out a little faster than I would have liked to be, but I had to keep myself in the race and just go for it. In the hunter breast, Lily King of Indiana, the senior, winning her fourth straight title in this event, 55.73 for a new American record, winning by over two full seconds ahead of Eastern Michigan senior Delaney Duncan and NC State freshman Sophie Hansen. Lily King is now the second woman to win the hunter breast four straight years at NCAAs. Um, I was a little nervous going into this meet just because I didn't want to repeat what I did my sophomore year which was break the American record of Big Tens and then not, you know, obviously not do that <laughs> at NCAA. So um, I was a little nervous about that, but I'm really glad that I was able to kind of overcome that, learn from the past, and, and go faster. In the hunter backstroke, Wisconsin junior Bita Nelson broke the American record with a 49.18, winning her second title of the meet. Cal's Annie Bilquist second at 50.05, and Taylor Ruck, the freshman from Stanford, getting another top three finish tonight, getting third place. Ooh. Well, backstroke's kind of like my baby. Um, I, I work all year. That's my stroke that I, I specialize in. We do stroke workouts and stuff, so um, I was super excited for it. I mean, last night was kind of unexpected, and tonight there was almost, um, I think, a, more of an expectation for a win. Um, so it was a different feeling, but there was a sense of calmness, I think, for me um, for tonight, just, just knowing that I had a lot of confidence and after last night, that definitely helped make me feel more prepared for today. In the 200 medley relay, Tennessee, 134.10, finished the night with the win. Megan Small, Nicole Popov, Maddie Bannock, and Erica Brown held off Cal's Abby Weitzel going at 20.45, tying the fastest relay split ever for a 50 free. I mean, I think in general, we're really good at keeping the spirits up no matter what the results are coming out because we know how hard we've worked this year and it's more about the journey than the results. And so, um, for us to have a little bit rough start of the meet, we kind of had to not even regroup as a team because we were already in that fight um, mindset, but um, more so just uh, gather each other and be like, 
like we're on a mission here and we're fighting for it and we want it and so we're gonna do it and we had to put ourselves in that like we're gonna take it mindset and we got there <laughs> <laughs> but I think we've been doing a really good job at knowing what mistakes we make and fixing it right away and doing whatever we can to improve and keep getting better and getting through the meet and killing it <laughs> Cal has overtaken the lead from Stanford heading into the final day. Still a small lead, about 29 points heading into the final day. Michigan is in third, Louisville is in fourth. Going to be lots more fast swimming. Stay tuned to SwimmingWorldMagazine.com for the final night of the meet tomorrow.